Hi. Today is the 22nd of April 2017 and that means that I am officially nine months on tea. Quite recently I've noticed that my shoulders um, are a little bit broader, which is good. And I think my body shape has changed a little bit. Like it's still really curvy, but like it's less so. I guess like I'm less hippie than I was before, which is good. I feel like I look a bit th thinner, like not much, but I don't think I've lost any weight, so it's a bit confusing. But yeah. And my facial hair continues to develop. I keep it trimmed now because it looks better when it's shorter than when it's like a curly mess of pubes, basically. A couple of weeks ago, or a week ago, something like that, I shaved my upper lip hair in the hopes that when it grew back, it would be a bit more visible because of the edges being blunt. And I'm just sad because I don't have any moustache. And I know I have all this, which is good for nine months, but yeah, I just I want a moustache. <laughs> Body hair. Arms are super hairy, legs are super hairy, it's awesome. Stomach's also super hairy. I have a lot of chest hair, like in the middle, and also spread about over my chest. Yeah. Thankfully no back hair as we end, which is good. Not noticed any change in my voice again this month. I think I pass pretty much most of the time now, even when I'm not binding, which is good. I really want top surgery, but it's just a long way away at the moment. Unfortunately, I saw the endocrinologist in Nottingham because my hematocrit and red blood cell count was they were both high like really high way out of range, which is bad You know, of course, it's just my luck. I should have known That I would get polycythemia. Yay, thick blood. The endocrinologist said that well, basically my, I've gone, I'm going from having my tea every three weeks to having it every four weeks. So I delayed it for a week, so I'm due on Monday instead of last Monday. My tea levels were already way lower than they should have been. My trough levels was like six, and it should be between 10 and 14 at trough. And now I'm having it every four weeks, and I'm worried that it's gonna be super low, and nothing's gonna change, or I'll be in a bad mood all the time, or other stuff, but yeah, basically I'm, I'm reducing my amount of tea, so every four weeks instead of every three. And also I'm going on a hormone blocker injection, which I will have every four weeks alongside my tea at the same time, just for ease. And basically that stops my um, ovaries from anything, suppresses any other hormones, so that, and hopefully it will also allow my body to regulate my testosterone levels better, so they might stay higher. And yeah, because I've never done a peak level, so I don't know what it's like at when it's a peak, but a trough is like really low, so my body must obviously use up the testosterone quickly so that by the time I'm due for my next shot, it's really low. Yeah, I'm hoping that that works in the doing the every four weeks and with a, um, a hormone blocker, I'm hoping that my blood thickness will go down and it'll be all okay. Um, if not, I don't know what other options there are, but he said about having blood taken out every couple months. Which does not really sound like something I want to have to be doing all the time, but there's no way I'm coming off tea. I need to be on tea. But thinking about this, with my low levels of testosterone, it's then pretty amazing that I'm getting the changes I am, even when my testosterone levels are, are very low. So with my hair, my voice, everything. So that's good. People, people don't talk about that a lot. Um, that testosterone thickens the blood. It, it's very good at encouraging the production of red blood cells which in some people is too much which can lead to polycythemia which is I guess the name of what I have I'd, I'd heard of it before and I was always like God, what, if, what if I have got it on tea because that's just, that'd be just my luck and I have hopefully it'll be fine people should be aware of that the testosterone does thicken your blood and it's really important to take regular blood tests to see where you're at because the moment I'm, I'm well I don't know if I am right this moment because I'm a week late for my tea because obviously I've had to extend it out but I'm at high risk of blood clots and I should be which is not good so yeah and you don't want to be having blood clots I'm going back to uni and 
I managed a day, which went pretty fine. But then after, after, <laughs> but then after, um, I just didn't go in again for the next two days, which I, I just couldn't, and I don't know why. So that's annoying, and I don't really want to sort that out. But that's not really relevant for my tea update. But yeah, it, it's hard to tell what is going on because of the tea because. I'm exhausted all the time, but you know, it could be the testosterone, it could be my depression, it could be that I'm just sleep deprived, which I am, because I, I find it hard to sleep at an okay time. So, it's, yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. Antidepressants, they're, um, I've got no bad side effects to my knowledge, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's if they're helping at all. I, I don't know, so it's too late to say really still, I think. I still haven't heard from mind, which I should have, but I'll chase it up. I just put on priority for cancelling. And they said that the wait was six weeks and I think it's been about six weeks now since I've since I went to see them. So yeah. My sept and piercing's doing quite well I think, which is good. So that's my 9 month empty update, and I guess also some little other bits about my life update. Yeah, um, thank you for watching and keeping up with my transition, it means a lot, and I'll see you next time. Bye.